What's going on everyone? Welcome to another plugin tutorial slash maybe a bit of a showcase at Rust Admin Academy. I absolutely love it when I can bring you guys a brand new tool that's going to help you make your job even easier. Today I got to tell you about a fairly new plugin called Easy Admin and it's only available at loan.design. Link in the description down below. Easy Admin is basically an all-in-one player management GUI that allows you to quickly access chat mute, voice mute, kick, ban. You can even view the player's inventory and crush their inventory if you want to. It's all done within a very slick looking GUI and every different command is permissions based so you can divvy up the workload amongst your different staff levels. So you as the owner of your server get to decide how much power each one of your different staff levels has over your players using this plugin. Like I said before, Easy Admin is available from loan design and it is most certainly considered a premium plugin but at $14.99 USD it's going to pay for itself in no time flat. So having a really quick look at the documentation these are basically all the features that I just went over. This is a breakdown of the permissions which we're going to deal with once we're actually in game. So there's just one really simple chat command in order to bring up the GUI so that you can actually manage your players on your server but I'm going to show you an even better way so that you don't have to remember this at all. I'm going to show you how you can bind this command to a key and you just press a key on your keyboard and it brings up the GUI. You're going to see what I mean in a couple of minutes. There are a couple of optional dependencies. So image library and better chat and better chat mute. If you want to be able to use those functionalities that are associated with each one of those. So if you want to be able to do timed chat mute, then of course you're going to need better chat mute. And if you're not already, you need to be using better chat anyways. And if you're going to be looking at your player's inventory and you want those items to show up correctly, obviously you're going to need image library. And Shady, this is a question for you. Is easy admin going to be following suit now that we no longer need to be using image library? All right. So so easy admin works very well right out of the box. So I say, let's just jump in game. We'll deal with the permissions and I'll show you what this plugin can actually do. All right. So once you're in game, the first thing that we need to deal with is the permissions for the plugin easy admin. Today, I'm going to be using permissions manager and you're going to see why in just a couple of minutes, but in order to bring up our permissions manager for groups, because we want to always be dealing with groups, you do slash perm space groups. That's going to bring up whatever list of groups you have in your server. And of course, then we can go into each individual group and decide which permissions we're going to give to which group. So first things first, let's go into the admin group because this is the group that's going to have the most control over this server. And then we're going to go into the easy admin section right here. And we can pretty much just grant all of the permissions that are required to the admin group. So we're just going to click on grant all. This is basically just going to give whoever's in the group called admin, they're going to have full access to whatever capabilities easy admin has built into it. But let's say we have a different group, a moderator group, or like you saw here earlier, an actual trainee group. So that we don't necessarily want trainee needs to be able to ban players from our server without some sort of oversight. So let's go into the trainee category. Let's go back into easy admin and let's decide which capabilities we would want a trainee to have. So a trainee moderator. So obviously we want them to be able to use the plugin, which is basically the ability to use the command slash EA. And then what capabilities do we want them to be able to do? Let's say we want them to be able to kick players out, but not ban players. So we're going to leave this ban permission revoked. And let's say we also want our trainees to be able to mute some somebody in voice, but maybe not necessarily in chat. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's do it the other way around. Let's allow them to mute people's chat, but not in voice. So what we've done here in our group called trainee, we've given them partial access to the plugin. So they don't have the ability to ban players. They can't view inventory and they can't delete any of the reports that the plugin actually generates for us. But if we go back into the admin group, as you can see there, I being the admin of this server have full access to this plugin. Anyways, I'm just going through this demonstration to show you that you can break up the permissions depending on the staff level of the group that you're actually granting these permissions to. And there's a lot of plugins out there that can do this, not just easy admin. All right, so the chat command to actually use easy admin is slash EA in chat. And that of course brings up the GUI, which will then of course allow us to execute these different commands on the player. But before we actually get into all of that, I wanted to show you a quicker way or an easier way in order for you to access this GUI. So if you're not using keybinds yet, you most certainly should be. Keybinds allow you to set up a hotkey on your keyboard or on your stream deck or whatever. It will execute a command for you. So in my example, as you can see, I'm not going to type anything in chat. All I have to do is hit my keypad zero and that brings up my easy admin GUI. So in order to create this keybind for yourself, you just go into your F1 console and in console, you want to 
to type bind and then whatever key it is that you want bound to this command. In my case, that was keypad zero. So I do bind keypad zero. And then we use the command chat.say. And then in quotations, you do whatever the command is that you wanted to execute. In this case, it was slash EA. And then as soon as you hit enter, it binds that command to that key. Plus it writes it to your keys.config on your local Rust files. And so now once that's done, I can just hit zero on my keypad and it brings up my easy admin panel. Another example that I have for that is on keypad eight, I have player administration. So it very quickly brings up that GUI as well, all at the press of a button. I don't have to worry about remembering any chat commands. Anyways, let's go back to your easy admin. So this is what it's all about. After you have permissions, you can actually click on a player in your server and it's going to bring up all of these different commands. Now, all of this stuff is really self-explanatory. If you want to kick the player, click on this button right there. If you want to ban the player for 30 minutes, click on this button right here. It's so super simple to work. So we've got the band controls up top. We've got the chat controls in the middle and the voice controls down below. So once we've decided what we want to do with this player that's breaking rule or whatever it is, whatever we want to execute on this player, we've made that decision. So we can just click on whatever command it is that we want to execute. And then it's going to give us a couple of different options. So what is the reason that we want to follow this kicking? What's going to show up on their screen with their kick warning, why it was that they got kicked from the server. Same thing with bands, same thing with mutes, all this other stuff. Now you're going to notice here that there's the green buttons right here. This is what you would click on in order to execute this command. But what Shady has done is he's also given us a little testing button on the side here. So if we click on this red infinity symbol, it's going to put up in chat exactly what it would normally do if we clicked on the green part, but it's not actually going to perform the function. So as you can see in chat there, it pretended like it actually performed that function when it really didn't. But this is what it would look like if you want to be able to test these commands. Let's say we had another player. We were going to mute this player for X amount of time. We could do the exact same thing with all of the mute commands but we don't actually want to execute this onto the player. We just want to see what it does in chat. So we can click on the red infinity button. It does the same thing. It says the player's name with their Steam 64 ID was muted in chat for three hours by whomever actually executed that command. So that's how things work in the players section, which is what it defaults to when you first come in there. But you can also do the exact same things on different clans. So if we click on the clan section, this is going to open up the only clan that I have in this test server, which is it's just called bulls. So we can go in here and we can execute all all of these same commands on everyone that's in that clan. So if you want to kick the entire clan, kick the entire clan. If you want to mute them for one hour, you can mute them for one hour. So as you can see, it would be really helpful if you have this one clan that's being toxic AF in your server and you just want to shut them up for a little while, you can literally just mute that entire clan for three hours or you can kick them out of your server or whatever it is that you want to do. Another aspect of the plugin that I didn't show you in the player section, which I should have before, if we go into the players and select a specific player, we can actually click on the screen button up here called view inventory. And obviously it's going to show you everything that's in their inventory. If we want to delete delete whatever items they have in their inventory. We just simply click on the red X's and it pulls that item out of their inventory. It doesn't put it into yours. It just deletes it. Another really nice feature about this plugin is that it logs everything that you do except for the inventory stuff. But if you're executing commands on these players, it's going to keep a log of that. So if we're just on the main players page, we of course can click on this red exclamation point next to my name and it's going to bring up whatever commands have been executed on whichever player it is that we're looking at. And of course, if you want to have a look at the configuration file for easy admin, as you can see, it's very customizable. You can change what those buttons say in the actual GUI. Plus, you can change what the commands are that they execute. So the lengths of the different times that are available. So each command that you've seen on my screen a minute ago, you can go in and customize each one of them to say different things and to execute different lengths of time. The actual reason that I wanted to show you the configuration file, though, is to show you the customizability of the actual GUI. So you can change the colors, you can change the text, you can do a lot of different things to make this fit your server a little bit better or just to fit your personal preferences, whatever. It's fully customizable. And another thing that's important to recognize is Shady has already set this plugin up to work with databases. So if you have a database with your provider, you can send all of this information that you're executing from the GUI into an actual external database somewhere. So at line 136 of the default configuration file, you'll see all of that database information there. If you're familiar with databases, you're going to know exactly what to do with that information. And if you scroll down just a little bit from there, you can see all of the different pre-made reasons for executing executing the different commands and you can change these up right in the configuration file if you'd like. So if you haven't already, make sure you head on over to loan.design and pick up a copy of Easy Admin. Once your server starts gaining popularity and your population starts to grow, you don't want to be fumbling around with different commands. If you need to kick somebody, or if you just want to shut somebody up for a little while, you don't want to be fumbling for those commands. It's just super easy to have a GUI where all of those commands are right in front of you.
If you have a plugin or a concept or an idea that you'd like me to cover on this channel, make sure you leave me in the comment section down below. I do read each and every single one of them, and there's really no reason for me to not cover a specific topic, except for one, and most of you already know what that one is. But if you put a suggestion in the comment section down below, chances are pretty good you're going to end up with a video on that topic. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So until next Friday, if you can't be smart, at least try to be safe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.